we're going to have blinders on in terms of reaching to our children, reaching to our parents, who ultimately have to make this decision about their children. We will have to recalibrate, to look again, to speak with the Ministry of Health and Wellness, to be able to advise our Jamaican parents as to exactly what the dates are that we'd be looking at um, for schools in a face-to-face -face environment. But we are going to move, we are, we're, we've announced that uh, school officially begins on September 1, 2021, and that the first teaching day will be September 6, 2020, Monday, September 6, 2021, and that we will be beginning school in the online mode. We will be rolling out the vaccines. We will be prioritizing the staff in the education sector or gardeners or cooks or security personnel. We are encouraging more of our teachers to be vaccinated because given what we're in right now, the vaccination is still our best hope against this virus. So this is the news, obviously, is not the best news that we could get today. Um, but we have seen the numbers. Uh, we've seen how quickly those numbers have grown. And we have to obviously be agile enough to respond to this new development, this new environment that we have. I can assure you that after this conference and with the next rollout of the vaccination bliss, I am confident that the number of teachers who would have been vaccinated will increase. We still assert though that the JTA encourages all teachers, all personnel within the ambit of the school system in Jamaica to go and get vaccinated. However, we are not going to say, and I don't think the Ministry of Education is saying that you must or forcing anybody at this time. So that's not a conversation we should be even entertaining. The reality is we are encouraging our members, we are encouraging all school personnel to be vaccinated. And um, I myself has been fully vaccinated and I've seen no side effect. I'm living healthy just as before. As a matter of fact, I'm even more confident now because now I can go, though I still maintain social distance, still wear my mask, as you can see, still sanitize wherever I go. But at least I know that if I should contract the virus, God forbid, the chance of me surviving is greater having taken the vaccine. And we are encouraging not just the teachers of Jamaica, but the entire Jamaica as a, Jamaica as a whole. Because remember colleagues, remember um, my friends, it, a school, is one of a, it's a unique entity that interacts with every strata of society and any one sector that fail may negatively impact the school and its um, pursuit of educating our nation's children the best possible way. We're going to focus right all our efforts now on, on encouraging, rolling out our campaign across social media, across the traditional media, to get the information out there, to let parents know of the new developments in terms of the vaccines for children that we will have. Obviously, the Ministry of Health and Wellness will be working with us to get this information out and to help us to execute on the ground um, vaccination of our children. Um, that is our focus right now, getting through that and getting as many of our children vaccinated as possible. And that's the first phase and I think we, we're going to have blinders on in terms of reaching to our children, reaching to our parents who ultimately have to make this decision about their children. We are comforted and assured by the minister and I must applaud her. She's very uh, receptive to us. The door is wide open. So based on the conversations we have had with the minister, we feel confident and assured that the Ministry of Education will give the necessary support to, that will redound to our teachers and students being safe. The truth is there is no playbook to treat with COVID-19. We are basically learning as we go. Yes, we are more experienced now and we are better uh, of now than we were last year. So therefore, I am confident that should that happen, 
the requisite support will be given to the education sector to minimize or mitigate the impact it will have on us. We are hoping that the rollout of the vaccination of the students will start. And in short order, I'm hoping that the Pfizer vaccine will become more available so that students in the primary or post-primary will benefit from the vaccine. Bear in mind that the only vaccine that is um, approved for children over 12 years old is really the Pfizer and the uh, Moderna. How pleased are you with the uptake of the teachers taking the vaccination so far? The vaccination. So far, quite pleased. Um, the take up in the education sector as a whole surpasses, when you look at the percentage, surpasses that of the general population. So the teachers have really stepped forward to take the vaccines, and, but we continue to encourage them because we still would like even a higher percentage of, of the education sector, not just the teachers, we have to include the administrators, all the ancillary staff, everybody who work in the sector um, to come forward to be vaccinated. What plans is that the ministry have that is different from last year for the start of the school year? And You're talking about in terms of connectivity, connectivity and so on? And right, teachers, right, 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 right. So we ended the school year at well over 125,000 tablets and, and, and laptops being delivered to our students. Um, we have a commitment, of, you know, in terms of our support for laptops for teachers. Obviously, that is going to take some time for us to get rolled out within the confines of our budget. Um, we, we believe we have a kind of a better skill set now in terms of handling the online world for our students and for our teachers. And I think we're at a better place this year from the preparation relative to when we first started in the pandemic. So we're gonna roll out all those modalities that we had last year to help our children to begin the school year on top of that is a vaccination for children and um, for staff and, and other members of the education sector. And, um, you know, the face-to-face -face is obviously what we're hoping for, um, that we are, we are going to be able to do that um, at some short time in the future to get back into that mode fully. And we are doing all that we can to ensure that we do it safely and that um, you know, our teachers and students and all who work in the education sector feel comfortable returning to the face-to-face -face environment. As a president of the Jamaica Teachers Association, I know that it is difficult and it's trying times because many are losing their jobs because of the pandemic. But the reality is, um, sorry, we have to look at what kind of parental support. Sometimes little things, you know, just sit down at home and ensure that your child is online, stay online and uh, participate in class. We know we have the connectivity issue. We know we have the uh, lack, of, lack of device. The ministry has moved forward to assist in that regard. The JTA contributed $1 million for the purchase of equipment to facilitate online learning. So whereas we are not where we want to be, the truth is, we are better off than where we were last year. And we are hopeful, we are looking that we can take that experience and put it into use so that we can perform better. We are just simply calling on the parents and the children to understand that you can't let this opportunity pass you by. Pandemic is upon us and life goes on. We must manage the realities of the times well. So I'm asking all students to get online. And if you are not able to get the, have, to have access to online, there are printed materials that the ministry will provide, as well as other schools have provided. So we are asking students to find a way to access those information. Pay attention to the, the online classes, the, TV, the, the programs that are placed on the local um, stations, so that we minimize the learning loss during this difficult time.